you're going. And sobriety. Uh -huh. Not so with God want, God want the senseless to be sober. He want them to be sober, not all up in the club, getting drunk. Read. Not with braided hair uh -huh. or gold so or it, pearls. So it's not saying you cannot have your braided hair. It's not saying you can have no gold. He's just saying that don't let that be what define you as a woman. Right. right. He wants you to have some kind of shame for yourself. Right. right. Okay. Uh, let me get the book of. Um, Shalom. So what the soldier is bringing out is absolutely. Absolutely in the scriptures. The Lord wants all our women to be in modest apparel. Right. But growing up in the Christian church, a lot of us and a lot of our elder women don't believe that this thing applies to them, that they have to wear skirts, dresses, head wraps, things of this nature, modest apparel, because they believe, and a lot of us believe when we were younger, that we were already saved. Right. 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 But what saves us? Will the Lord come back and destroy his people if they're not keeping commandments? Right. The answer is yes. Right. Are we saved now? The answer is no. Right. Right. What are we saved from if we're still in slavery today? Right. Right. That's the question, all right? right? How do we get saved should be the question. Right. Get the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because there's a common misconception in the world that Christianity continues to spew out. It's a lie upon our people right. that we are saved. Right. But we're going to dispel that myth right now. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. Huh? But he that shall endure until the end. So Christ said he, the man and the woman, that what? Shall endure. Until the end. Until the end. The end means when Christ returns. Right. If you're enduring through your sin, through your tribulation, if you're keeping God's commandments until the end, read, the same shall be saved. That that's man right. and that woman that's keeping the commandments until Christ returns, the same what? Shall be saved. This is future prophecy. Right. Meaning, if you're keeping commandments when Christ returns, the same person shall be saved. Right. 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 Give me some uh, Second Ezra chapter nine and verse seven. You know, our people have to understand that Christ is coming back to save the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. Now, how are we saved today if we're still the first fire, the last hire? Right. Right. How are we still saved if we still have single parent households? Right. How are we still saved if we get pulled over for a parking ticket or a busted light and we end up dead in prison? Right. How are we still saved when our 12 year old children are getting shot down by the police over a plastic gun? Right. Right. We are not saved yet. Read. Second address, chapter 9 and verse 7. Come on. Yeah. And everyone that shall be saved. That shall be what? Saved. Uh huh. And shall be able to escape by his works. So the Lord says that those who shall be saved and escape by his what? Works. So we have to be escaped from this world because Christ is coming. Guess what? And he's not coming with hugs and kisses. Right, he's right. coming to destroy the nations right. and those who continue to break his commandments. Right, right, right. Read it again. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. And by what? Keep reading. And by faith. So the Lord said the only way we're going to escape the judgment is by his works and by faith. We have to have works, which means keeping the commandments of the Most High God. That's right. And by the faith of Jesus Christ. Right. That's right. Read. Whereby ye have believed. Read. Shall be preserved from the... Excuse me. Shall be preserved from the said pearls. So the said perils, guess what? You're not gonna have to worry about getting shot down in the streets if you're keeping God's commandments. Right. Right. You're not gonna have to worry about a man laying with you, giving you child and leaving you if you're keeping God's commandments. Right. Right. Why? Because the Lord said that marriage is honorable above all things. Right. 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 We're not gonna have to worry about the Lord destroying us for cross-dressing if we're keeping his commandments. Right. 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 Read. And shall see my salvation in my land. Uh-huh. And within my borders. Come on. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the Lord said that if you have been sanctified from the beginning, you're going to hear his word. Right. That's right. If you believe in the Bible, if you believe in the black Messiah as the Bible has described them, right. you're going to keep his words. Right. right. Keep his commandments. Right. And endure to the end. That's how you be saved. Right. Verse 9. 
then shall they be in pitiful case, uh -huh. which now have abused my ways. Come on. And they that have cast away themselves, uh -huh. despitefully shall dwell in torments. So the Lord says that if we break his commandments, guess what? When he comes to judge the earth, we're going to dwell in torment. Right. Because we die, but that ain't the last death. Right. There's more after that, and the Bible will describe it. Read. Right. Verse 10. For much as in their life have received benefits. Because we as a people have received benefits. We've got welfare. Right. We got WIC. Right. We got all type of stuff. Right. Uh, we got, we got, we still want the 40 acres in the mule. Bring right. it out. But we still enjoy the benefits that our oppressors have given us today. Right. We are eating literally from the palm of his hand. Right. Right. So we enjoy benefits, read. And have not known me. Uh-huh. Verse 11. So we enjoy these benefits so much that we say, you know what? The white man is God. Right. right. What do we need the Lord? High? What do we need God for right. when we got the so-called white man? Right. He feeds me. Right. He clothes me. He gives my sons and my daughters good education. Right. He got all the coolest cartoons. What do I need the black Messiah and his prophets for? Right. Read. Right. And they that have lost my law. So those who have broke God's commandments and hated them, read. While they have yet liberty. So you have the liberty in America to learn God's commandments. Right. He gave us the liberty to keep his laws, to keep his statutes right. on the Sabbath, not to eat pork, not to eat unclean things, right. to stop smoking weed. Right. He gave you the liberty to do all of those things. But what? Right. And when as yet placed of repentance, was open unto them. So place of repentance is open unto us today. Right. Stop doing those things and continue to keep God's commandments. Read. Right. Understood not, uh -huh. but despised it. So although we got benefits from God, although we understood God's commandments, right. although we heard it, right. guess what? Read that part again. Understood not, but despised not. We despise God's laws. Right. right. Although a brother says, listen, our women are supposed to wear skirts and dresses. Listen, our men are supposed to keep on beards, as the Bible says. Listen, children, obey your fathers and mothers. Listen, keep God's commandments, but we still love God's laws. Read. The same must know it after death by pain. Read that one more time. The same must know it after death by pain. So the Lord says you're going to know the laws of God either way, but this time you're going to know it by what? By pain, by, by death, by pain. After death, by pain. How can you know something after death? Once you die, brothers and sisters, it's not over. Right. The Lord is going to send torment upon your head right. and teach you and remind you of the commandments that you should have been keeping when you had the liberty to do it. Right. Right. Your liberty is now. That's why the prophets are out here telling you to repent and keep God's commandments before it's too late. That's right, right. brothers. Stop selling yourself short. Stop trying to be like the white man. Bring it up. Stop selling his drugs to your people. Right. Sisters, stop dressing up your hands. Come on, dresses and skirts. Right. Brothers, observe the seventh day. Keep your fears, raise your children, love your wives. Right. Right. These right. are the commandments that we should have been keeping from the beginning. Right. Right. And if we don't, the Lord says that you must know it after death by pain. Right. That's right. So, how do we get saved? Matthew chapter 19, verse 16, and then you come back up. Bring it out. Right. Now we're yeah. going to see how do we be saved. What does it take to be saved? Read the book of Matthew chapter 19, and verse 16. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? that I may have eternal life. There's a website on the back, brothers and sisters. Check it out. We got free classes, all right? Read. And he said unto him, why callest me good? So the young man comes to Christ. He says, what good thing must I do to inherit eternal life? How do I get to the kingdom of heaven? How do I get saved? Read. And he said unto him, why callest me good? Come on. There is none good but one. Come on. That is God. Read. But if thou wilt to enter into life, so he says, if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven and be saved, read, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. And he said, keep the commandments. So that's why we're out here is to preach to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are not saved yet. 
That's but right. if you want to be saved, do what? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments of the Most High God. That's right. So the officer brought the truth out to our people. And everything he said is the truth because it's coming from the Bible. That's right. right. And when That's you right. examine, this is exactly what we need. Let me get proud of 8 and 6. Right this is exactly what we need as a people. Because all of this is the this is the truth of the Bible. Alright, read this. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 6. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 6. Hear, for I will speak. So, so the officer was speaking in the spirit of the most high. So the most high said, listen, read. I will speak of excellent things. Because what we're teaching you right now is excellent things. Because we are able to stand here and show you in the Bible your history and the, the truth about slavery, what happens to us as a people, right. and how it determines who we are, that we are the Israelites of the Bible. Right. Okay, right. because of what happened to us as a people, determined that we are God's chosen people. Right. Okay, so it is excellent thing that we're teaching our people right now. Right. right. And the opening of my lips uh -huh. shall be right things. So we're teaching you the right things. We're teaching you how to get yourself right with God. Right. That's the right thing. Right. How to save our lives. That's the right thing. Yeah. When we tell you stop selling the weed, it's a good thing. Because you're stopped from destroying another brother. That's right. right. Okay, because smoking the weed, it is temporary. Um, uh, it's, it, all it's doing is uh, pacifying you. Right. That's all it's doing. It's not, remo it's not removing the problems, but it's just um, pacifying you to think that the problem, the problem is done away with. Right. But right. the problem still remains. Because right. what happened is, once the effect of the weed come out, the problem remains. Right. Okay, the problem remains because you never fixed it. Read. For my mouth shall speak truth. So we're speaking the truth of the Most High God right now. We're telling you the truth. The truth is that you must repent as an Israelite. That's right. And come back to your God. That's the truth. Right. You've been looking for the truth. This is the truth. Right. The truth is you are an Israelite. Right. right. Read. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Wickedness, lies, is an abomination to us. So we know that we can't lie. This right. is not a lie what we teach you. We teach you the truth. We teach you how to come back to God as an Israelite. That's right. Because for so long we have been lied to as a people. Right. They told us we were black. What is What does that define? What is the definition of black? It's not a nation of people. Black is not a nation. You cannot buy a, a plane ticket to go to the land of black. It's right. not in the map. Right. You're not an African American. Right. That's two different names that was put upon you in slavery by two different Caucasian men. Right. As a matter of fact, it only goes back to 1986. If you ordered, if you was born before 1986, you older than your nationality. That don't make sense. All right. Read. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. All the words that we teach you right now is righteousness because that's the word of God. Right. Read. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. So we're not teaching you any perverse thing. We're teaching you the truth. Read. Right. They are all plain to him that understand it. It says it is all plain to them that understand it. So if you have understanding, you can see for a fact. We fit the curses in the Bible, which we're about to go to right now. Let's get the curses. Bring it up. So, because if you have plain, if you have plain understanding, you can understand what we're going through right now. That it only, it only, um, that what we're going through right now prove that you are an Israelite right. by facts that you are God's chosen people. Right. So we're not just here because we woke up one day and we felt good and we wanted to come here and teach some lies. No, we teach you the Bible on what God says what what's going to happen to His people. Right. The Israelite, if they disobey him. Right. Right. Let's read this real quick. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. Read. But it shall come to pass. So this, we're reading the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 right now. Let's go to 27, verse 1. We're going to show you who Moses was speaking to. All right? The, who was Moses speaking to and telling that something was going to happen to them. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 1. Read. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people saying keep all the commandments which I command you this day uh -huh. and it shall be on that day when ye shall pass over Jordan onto the land so guess what because Moses and the elders of Israel was teaching the Israelites that you must keep God's commandments That's right wherever you at at that time we was going over Jordan to go to the promised land we were supposed to keep the commandments there today right now we are in our captivity Right. And America. Right. This is where we're at right now. So God says, keep the commandments there. Right. Read. 
um, go, get, go um, do that 28 in one. Bring so now, what was the co consequences if you keep the commandments in the first place? 28 in one. Deuteronomy chapter 28, Bring it out. verse one. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments. So Moses is warning them now saying, all the commandments that you heard that I mentioned to you, it will come to pass if you listen and do them in the land that you live in. Right. If you apply these commandments, God is going to bless you. That's right. right. Read verse 2. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and so, overtake thee. So all these blessings was going to come upon us and overtake us. Right. When you look at us today, we are not a blessed people. Right. Bring it out. Because we don't own nothing as a people. Right. Everything we need as a people, we have to go to another nation for that. Right. Right. The money that you use today don't even belong to you. Right. So we are not a blessed people. Everything was taken away from us because we did not listen. God says if we would listen to him, we would be blessed. Verse 15. No, no. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So now he said, now, contrary from having the blessing since um, if you kept the commandments, now if you don't listen to keep the commandments, it would come to pass, something was going to happen to the Israelites. Right. Something was going to happen through pro in prophecy, through prophecy, something was going to happen to the Israelites. Right. 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 To observe, to do all his commandments. So if we did not observe and do all God's commandments, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So right. that says, if the Israelites did not listen to God, that all these curses was going to come upon the Israelites. Who is the Israelites? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. God said he would put curses upon us as a people. Right. You can, even, you can imagine it by yourself that when you look at us, when you examine us, that we are cursed as a people. Right. We are cursed as a people. Bring it up. All right. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed that shall thy be in the city. So let's examine. Where the blacks and, his, and his okay, yeah. live as a people. Yes, God. We are cursed in the city. Let's That's what God says. How we curse? Okay, we curse in the city because everywhere we go in the world, we are in the hoods. Right, right. In the ghettos That's in the, the slums. Right. What are we doing? Selling drugs, killing each other, crimes. Right. That's what goes on in the cities of the blacks and Spanish Native Americans where we stay in. And cursed shall thy be in the field. Cursed shall we be in the field. Today, how we curse in the field? Because we have the worst jobs. Right. Last hired, first fire. Right. In slavery, how was we cursed? Picking cotton. Right. Picking tobacco. Right. Picking um, picking um, cacao. Um, uh, cacao. Sugar cane field. Right. Tobacco field. So God says we are cursed in the field. Right. Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Bring it up. Oh. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. So what we're going over right now is our history that happened to us in the 1600s, the 1400s, it proves that we are the Israelites. That's what it proves. That's why we teach you the truth about slavery. The truth about slavery is that we are God's chosen people. That's right. It happened to us because we sinned against our God. Read this, 49. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Because guess what? The Spaniards came from far. They came from Spain. They came to the Americas against the so-called Native American Indians. Alright? And guess what? The so-called Frenchmen. They came from French and all the way to the west coast of Africa. Alright? Same with the British. So God said he will send a nation against us from far. Read. That's right. From the end of the earth. Read. As swift as the eagle flyeth. And he actually telling you who's these people. Their symbol is the eagle. Right, right. Who have the symbol as the eagle today? America. Right. Guess what? The so-called Americans went to the west coast of Africa in 1619 right. and got the so-called Negroes and bought you slavery in America. Right. right. And he still have the eagle today. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.